This club is a, is a beacon of hope to the community. It's not just all about the rugby. You know, the people here, they do really care very much about the players, you know, their well-being outside the playing field as well. I mean, rugby, we all know, it's not just about the, the playing. It's about building a human being, you know, a, a gentleman. Raiders as a whole, we, we, you know, we are a completely non-racial club. We've got people from all over the country, black, white, big, small, tall, all shapes and sizes. We hope to embark on a massive women's program as well. And for Raiders, what we want to do is we want to give them a home. We want them to know that there's, there's a community and a club that cares about them. From the offset, one of our goals was to make sure that we're inclusive in all the communities around us. So our, our, our communities in, include Soweto, uh, it includes uh, uh, Rivoli and all the surrounding western areas around us. Uh, and it doesn't exclude even the, the, the white areas in our area like Newlands and, and Claremont and all those guys. We have juniors who come from those, those areas that has been with the club since they were 9 and 10 years old. So our multiracialism in the club is not, not a coincidence, it's stuff that we've been working on for the last uh, 15, 20 years. When I joined Raiders, there was a big history behind it. It was the first club uh, to just play uh, blacks, whites, colors, anyone who wanted to come. So it's not just any jersey, any club, but it has a history behind it where a lot of players have played in the jersey, a lot of Springbok players that have worn the Raiders jersey as well. And when you put on that jersey, you know, you just have to give it your all. Give everything you've got, and uh, on the day, if you do that, I think that's all they ask for. You know, we, we've, got, we've got guys who, who don't work um, or do anything by the, by the club. They go out of their way to actually support them, get, give them skills, take them to coaching, you know, coaching training, you know, just to give them something, you know. If I go back into to the community, I, I do see friends and, and now and then even family members, distant cousins, and I see them going astray due to drugs and due to gangsterism, due, due to the circumstances of poverty. You know, it's, it's, it's difficult for me to go back and face them because I made a decision and they had just a, the same amount of opportunities I had, but they chose a different path. This club was a feeder for, 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 for youngsters. There was a lot of guys who, who used drugs in the community, and uh, we sometimes went out to the community and uh, get these guys to come and play rugby or play sports. And we make a difference in their life. In the club, so did the club made a difference in their life. We uh, work with the church leaders. We work with our social workers. So we call people in to come and assist us, and they call us also in. We've got, we've got a couple of boys who was in drug rehab, the minister came here and asked us, look here guys, these guys have were rugby players at school. Please bring them into the program and we embrace them. And uh, we, 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 you know, we're happy to say that they, they, they're leading uh, normal lives now and we're keeping them together. Our academy is what you see at the back of us here. And uh, out of there, you know, if we can get 10 children in, in 10 years' time to play in our first team, then we, we will have done our work. If we can get 100 of them to stay off the, off the street and, and not, not do drugs or crime or, or, you know, that kind of thing, then we will have done our work. So, so, so that, that's the passion that we have and the belief that we have for our community and the greater South Africa. You know, many years ago, we, we, had, we had a small sponsorship and we were able to bring hundreds of children in. But this year, we decided that we're going to do it whether we have money or not. So these are children that have just walked in. A number of them are more privileged and, and their parents bring them in. So you find doctors' children over here, you find lawyers, and then we also find children from an informal settlement about uh, 500 meters from here. And lots of them are actually part of our program. What we do is we offer them uh, the, the, the skills, you know, the enjoyment in a safe environment. And then also at the, at the end of the day, we all put some money together and we give them a little fruit pack with one or two sweets just to make the day more memorable for them. Uh, Raiders has gone back to its roots. 
And what we're doing here, we're catering for the hope and ambitions of youngsters who are to play higher rugby. And it, it, it's, it's a lifeline that, that every community in South Africa needs. Play!